What's up guys welcome to example program YouTube channel. In this video we will see how we can write a simple python program to check the eligibility for marriage. In India a male is eligible for marriage if age is greater than or equal to 21 and for female to be eligible for marriage her age has to be greater than or equal to 18. So we will be using this condition and we will write this program where we will ask the user to enter the sex and age and then we will display whether they are eligible for marriage or not. So here in this program first we will ask the user to enter his or her uh, sex. So we will use the input function. Here I'm going to specify the prompt as enter sex and we will display the options for the user. If he is a male then he can enter male and if she is a female then she can enter female and other options are m and f. So these are the things the user can enter. Now this input function will return the user input in string form and we will store it in a variable and let's call it as sex. Now after that we will ask the user to enter age and again we will use the input function and this time I'm going to say enter age and this input function will return the age value which will be entered by the user as a string value. But in our program we want this age value as a integer value as a number not as a string value. So what we do is we take the user input in string form and we convert that to integer form by using this int function and then we will store that in a variable and let's call that variable as age. Now we know whether the user is male or female and also we know his age. Now we can check whether the user is eligible for marriage or not. Now what we're gonna do is first we will check whether the user is male or female. If the user is male then we will check whether the age is greater than or equal to 21 then we will display the appropriate message. If the user is female then we will check whether the age is greater than or equal to 18 then we will display the appropriate message. Since for male and female we have different age criteria first if we check for whether the user is male or female then we will be able to organize our program properly. So here we will use the if conditional statement and first what we do is we take the sex variable and we convert the whatever the value present in that to lowercase and then we will check whether that value is present in a tuple that we have here and that tuple will contain the possible options that the user can enter. Here first we will check for female. So for female the user can enter female or he can enter f. Here you can see we have displayed these options. So if the user enters any of this then it means that the user is female. So we can now write the age criteria to say whether the uh, user is eligible for marriage or not. Now if the user is female then we need to check for age and the age value needs to be greater than or equal to 18. So we will use a if conditional statement inside this uh, uh, if block which is for female and the condition here will be if the age variable contains a value which is greater than or equal to 18 then the user is eligible for marriage and we will display that message using the print function and we will say eligible for marriage else if the age is less than 18 then the user is not eligible for marriage and we will display that message in this else block okay now here we have written the code for the female now we will come out of this uh, inner if else and in this outer if statement we will have a lf block which is for male so here we will have lf and the condition here will be first we will 
convert the sex variables value to lower case and then we will check that value in a tuple which will contain the options that we have for the male so if the user is male then he can enter male or he can enter yum okay now if the user is male then the age has to be greater than or equal to 21 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this code i'm gonna paste it in here and we will change the age value here so we will make it 21 so if the age is greater than or equal to 21 then the male is eligible for marriage okay and uh, if the age is less than 21 then he is not eligible for marriage now here we will have a else block and this else block is for uh, the wrong user input for the sex value if the user is going to enter uh, an input other than any of the uh, options specified in here then we will display a message stating that we don't know okay so here we will have the else block and we say we don't know okay now here uh, we have written this program uh, let's run this enter sex i'm gonna say male enter age i'm gonna say 21 it says eligible for marriage i'm gonna run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter yum and enter age i'm gonna say uh, 19 and it says not eligible for marriage now here instead of converting the sex variables value to lowercase here in this if else conditional statement we can directly do that here after taking the input from the user we can convert that to lowercase so now here we can only have the sex variable now if i save this program and if i run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter female enter age i'm gonna say uh, 23 eligible for marriage i'm gonna run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter f and i'm gonna say 17 not eligible for marriage i'm gonna run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter some other value for uh, uh, sex and i'm gonna say age is uh, 20 it says we don't know now if you look at this code here then if we can use a function which can check for the age and display the eligibility then we can eliminate writing this code two times so what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a function in here which will check for the age value with the certain age limit and it will display whether the person is eligible for marriage or not so let's define that function and let's call it as check underscore eligibility and this function will take two parameters the first value is the age of the user the second parameter will be the age limit and inside this function what we want to do we want to check for the age value and we want to display the appropriate message so if the age value is greater than or uh, equal to age limit then we will say eligible for marriage else then we will say not eligible for marriage so now here what we can do is instead of writing this code for male and female separately we can call this function and we can pass in the age and the age limit so i'm going to remove this code and i'm going to call the function check eligibility and here we need to pass in the age value and then we need to pass in the age limit so the age limit is for female 18 so now similarly for male also we can do this so here we will call the function check eligibility and we will pass in age value and the age limit which is 21 okay now here we have uh, modified this program and we are using this function at the moment and if we run it we should get the same result so let us say female and age is uh, 20 it says eligible for marriage if i run it one more time and if i enter um, male and age is uh, 18 then not eligible for marriage 
if i run it one more time and if i enter some random uh, value for sex and if i enter the age as 25 it says we don't know so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video